Leo, welcome to your Sunday Shuffle. Like always, these are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate. Perfectly normal. Check your other placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. What's going on, please, for Leo? What's going on, please, for Leo? Show me Leo. Show me Leo. What's going on, please, for Leo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to clear up that confusion. Whatever it is, we need to clear it up. I agree. Okay. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Queen of Swords. It's like, yeah, I need to clear up the confusion about something, y'all. Six of Cups, Soul Bond Energy, possibly Soulmate, uh, Soul Tribe, someone who is unique and or precious to you. Page of Wands is in the outcome. Opening up to what? I don't know, but it's looking like we have in some way accomplish that goal and we need to clear up some of the confusion here either within you or surrounding you this particular situation we shall see all right let's get cracking show me that ace of swords please show me i do like this deck a lot but it's got quite the snap to it so i think it's the vintage yeah vintage show show me leo please show me leo show me leo show me leo let's see the ace of swords please Death. Oh, King of Pentacles. Oh, my. Two of Pentacles. My, 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 my. It's, uh, goodness me. We wanted a situation to come to an end. It does look like a situation that was not practical in nature, although perhaps at first we thought it was. Okay. With the King of Pentacles, he typically has a good gauge of this is practical and this isn't practical. That's why he's the King and or Queen of Pentacles. It's kind of what they do. Uh, this either adds to my household sense of stability and resourcefulness or adds to who I am, or it doesn't. You know, it either contributes or it takes away. And uh, not too long ago, it's looking like you made a, a decision, a strong one, too, to end something that you're like, I'm done with the wiffle waffle, two of pentacles back and forth, whatever that is, you guys, it could be anything. You know, it could be something that just wouldn't resolve and practically in the 3D, it's not working out. And that's anything we put our time, energy, and effort into. The point is, with the Ace of Swords there, it's an undisputed truth that this must be let go, death. And uh, that King of Pentacles is saying, you know what? Two of Pentacles, whatever this is, I entertained it for as long as I could to try to get more from it, to coax more from it, to make sense of it, to see how it relates to my world. And you know what? It's not chalking up that way. <laughs> so it's it's actually incredibly straightforward. Uh, in terms of the decision making, some of you might have some very strong Scorpio and or Taurus in your chart. That's not the point. There's just something in here that says I've made this decision. I understand whatever this element is that I've been juggling. Again, it could be anything, guys. Any particular scenario where you've been like, Come on, man. Give me something more. Give me something more. I don't want to give you the chop. But if I have to let you go, I will. Mm. Okay? Again, situation, place, circumstance, something that you were giving your time, energy, and effort to, paying for work, contribution, anything. So it's a pretty strong declarative, but one that says, you know, this is the best decision as I understand it. So if that's true, then why am I saying that to a source? Confusion. Given that opening, it doesn't look like there's anything to be confused about. Let's say that to a source. That's like, that's a finito decision. Or it's supposed to be. Show me that two of swords, please. Show me that two of swords. Show me that two of swords. Show me that two of swords. The lighting's a little different today. We woke up to a lovely, lovely storm. Oh, I love a good storm, honey. I love a good storm, but the lighting's way off because it's still kind of dark outside. That's okay. It adds a little something, you know. Knights of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Okay, I see. This is the idea of you getting back on track. You're saying you're not terribly clear with it, but whatever this is does not provide what you're looking for. Okay, these are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> Star Wars, for those of you who don't know. It's hard to believe I just explained a Star Wars reference. Most people know, right? But every now and again. Anyway, not the point. Two of Swords. Knights of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. It's like, I'm not entirely clear how we're going to get this back on track, but we're going to do it. I don't care. I gave this up. It's not working for me. That's a really strong appreciation, by the way, for this isn't working for me. <laughs> but the idea is I haven't lost any more of my goals. Thank you. I'm still at a particular track to the foundation, Ten of Pentacles. And even though I gave this thing up, it was for the best. 
it doesn't add to my Ten of Pentacles. In fact, whatever this activity is, contribution, whatever, time and energy effort was taking away from the concept of my foundation. So it's time to get it back on track. Now, all the details are in place, but I'm going to do it. Good for you. Uh, I appreciate that. A lot of people will just be there, stand still. Because everything's not clear, I won't do anything. You're like, F that. I know not everything's clear, except that I gave that up. It's not helping me. It's not contributing to my way of life or my lifestyle. So I know it's not adding to my Ten of Pentacles, thus I've made the executive decision to get rid of it. However, that doesn't deter me any less from my goals. Comprehensive ideas for the long term, right? And uh, I will tr feel triumphant, you said. I will get back on track. Just because this thing was useless doesn't mean everything else is. Not everything's clear, but that doesn't keep me from pursuing my goals. You are 100% correct. I will see people like, that's a goal, that's a goal, but because I have a little bit of confusion and not everything's immediately obvious, I guess I'm just going to let it go. So good for you. I don't mean that. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's like nothing's going to rock my boat. That's what you're telling me. Nothing's going to rock my boat. Nothing's going to turn me away from my goals. I know what I'm looking for in terms of my sense of stability and long-term Productivity, health, wealth, the Ten of Pentacles is the tree of life, okay? It's the roots that touch many, many things. Uh, so family, career, personal finances, community, resources, all that jazz. So I respect that. I like that a lot, Leo. Good job. All right, let's see that Queen of Swords. I like the determination and the strong will I'm seeing in you for today. That judgment here about what to do, what's working, what's not working. I love that. It's great. I love it. Really just not giving up on your goals and sense of stability and resourcefulness. All excellent qualities. Um, what I would expect to see in a developed Leo. It's like, this is how it is. This is where I'm going. And these are the decisions I've made, you know. All right. Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Hermit, Ace of Swords. An idea is occurring to you now. And I mean now, now. I mean, it's like super, super now. <laughs> An idea has occurred to you, like a light bulb just went off for you, that you want to rope somebody in. Uh, you got money on the brain, honey, and I respect that. Thank you. I appreciate that, by the way. I was telling somebody the other day, you know, Capricorn and Scorpio, I believe, is like, <laughs> it's been nice to see the lovers. I'm kind of tired of the lovers. <laughs> you know, it's it. I'm kind of tired of it. There's got to be a point where I just wanted to start pulling the lovers' cards out of the deck because I was sick of seeing it. So you're like, I'm all about that coin. <laughs> <laughs> and I respect that, and so you are. Your mentality and actions are very consistent today. Uh, so that tells me you're in alignment. That means you're on board. That means success is yours if you continue on in this track. And you got something on the brain, honey. You are wanting to start something and continue on with other things, make them prosperous. Can I start my hand in this while I continue that? So you're looking like a multifunctional Leo in this respect, is that I got this going on, I got this going on. And the name of that game is, again, Foundation, Prosperity, and Thriving, yeah? Now, I respect that game. Now, here's what's interesting. Boom, here's another idea right here, Ace of Swords. You're like, you know what? I was thinking about it, Christina. I know somebody who might be on board with something. Constructive effort. Now, this might be on the personal side, the hermit here. Could be. But it does look to me like you, bare minimum, want to rope someone in under the context of an idea. Can we cooperate or build something here? And it, it could be entrepreneurship. It could be project-oriented. Uh, it could be that this is someone who is entering your work sphere, and you're like, I'm wondering if I can work with this person, if they're going to contribute. The idea is that the, the talks and the thoughts have started here. Um, so we want this person to get onboarded, you know, we want to rope them in. They might be of help or contribution. And they could be on the friend side, for sure. But Three of Pentacles, we must remember, is the bare minimum sense of cooperation, or the words bare bones of connectivity. You start there, see where it goes, okay? Same level of interest and goals and contributive effort. And from there, you understand if you're on the same page with somebody. So you want to get on the same page with somebody and see if you can add their contribution to your efforts and goals. Okay, cool. It could be this person, Six of Cups, someone whom we've known. Like I said, it could be a friend friend. Um, someone who you know can work well with you, has good ideas. I don't know. Let's take a look. Hey, hey. I just had a little time check there with my eyeballs. It's under 10 minutes so far. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep it that way. Let's see that Six of Cups, please. Show me that Six of Cups. For those of you who are new, hi, my name's Christina. I'm known for my long readings, not my short ones. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I can laugh at myself. You have to. You have to, honey. You have to be able to laugh at yourself. You know, I know what I'm like. Trust me. I don't walk around in the world ignorant. I'm very aware of who I am. Trust me. And I like being me. And I hope you do, too. 
I like, I hope that you like who you are because I love being me and I want you to love yourself. Okay. The Emperor, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, you are getting confirmation response from whoever this is. Uh, it's interesting. They got some big daddy energy, male, female, sex, relevant tarot. Their energy suggests eh, eh, they're used to being boss. Okay. But you are getting positive response from them and that I got a lot on my plate, but yeah, I'd like to do this. I'll take you up on it. So, and this is, if, if they hadn't been six of cups with you, I might have been seeing a decline in that particular offer, but they're taking it seriously. And this is a person I believe you wanted to rope in into your particular activities. So I am seeing them as saying, yes, it's just that they probably have in and of their own energy, a lot going on, 10 of wands, or they're saying that this project that you're proposing might be difficult, but they're prepared to act on it with the ace of pentacles. So that emperor, let me make that clear, does not deliver an ace of pentacles. He does not mean. Okay, and it's over the Six of Cups. I think they're saying yes, but they're also saying it might be difficult, but they got it, or they're used to kind of this upper level difficulty, and that's probably why you want to rope them in, honey. They're not peanuts. This is someone who's experienced, and they do what they say. They say what they do. Okay, uh, so and you know them. There's no way, because it's almost like you're saying, hey, you know, <laughs> you remember that one time we worked well together 10 years ago? I got this really awesome idea. It's going to be a little difficult, but I get it. It's part of your particular thread for what you are building for yourself. You want this person on board, and I see them say yes. A little difficult, but they're like, I'll do it. Then they mean it. I don't know if this is a short-term thing. I don't know if it's a long-term thing, but the idea is I want you to throw your weight in on this because I think you've got a lot to offer this. Cool. All right. Thank you so much for that pentacle energy. Oh my God, it's such a nice break. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, some, sometimes, honey, that the, the money stuff, the finance stuff is just so much easier to read, minus the emotions and all that other stuff. And don't get me wrong, I love the in-depth uh, for the emotional energy, but so, sometimes it just... Sometimes you need a palate cleanser, you know? <laughs> And uh, money can be a nice little palate cleanser, especially when I see this spark of creativity and making decisions and forward momentum. And I got a plan. Do you want to get in on it? I love it. This is great. This is great. This is active building. This is active constructive effort. I'm not saying you're not going to have difficulties. It's going to be perfect. But the track you're on suggests you got this. You and whomever this is. Um, so that's great. Let's see that page of wands and the outcome. We're opening up towards what? I don't know. But it's a little guy. That's your particular page, by the way. All right, let's take a look at that page of wands. Little guy here, the fool, the page of wands for the page of wands and the three of swords. There's a little bit of fear here of rejection. So the three of swords and the way I'm seeing it, it classically, by the way, three of swords, guys, is fear of rejection or your heart has been rejected. Uh, somebody here is just a little nervous. So when I see the two page of wands, they're little guys but they're the littlest representation of fire. So you got the three swords here with the fool. How I'm translating that is coming across as nervousness, but it's what you might call reasonable nervousness. What if it doesn't work out? It's kind of squeaking around out there. You know, we're a little afraid, but we're gonna push past that fear. So three swords again is fear of being hurt, fear of being rejected. The fool is so much bigger than that. And the page of wands are here. Both parties are interested in the smallest of ways to open up towards this. So it's looking like you both are pushing past fears. Um, it's like, you know what? I'm, I'm jazzed up about this. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, but uh, I'm, we're going to do it. Let's 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 do it. So yeah, it's, it's great. I love this. I, this might be something that you consider a little risky. It's looking to me like a calculated risk, but I could see where if you are putting importance or attachment to this, it would feel like, oh God, I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing I'm making it happen. I'm making it. That's what the energy is like right here. So good job. I'm seeing consistent forward momentum. Good job. Some of you left jobs behind that were exactly that. They were jobs. They were paycheck gigs, you know, and we dropped that. It wasn't fruitful. We want to go our own way, do our own thing or open up more in something else that we are participating in. Some of you had two or three jobs. And that's also the two of pentacles in the money context. You got a lot going on. And you want to start consolidating efforts, right? And you're saying, I don't have a full, complete plan, but I feel pretty darn confident about the direction. That someone, that person over there, they might get on board with this. And they might do. I see them saying a strong yes. You might be hitting them up for a favor. I don't know. In terms of uh, foundation coin, but it's looking to me like work contribution because they're associating it with labor, but labor that they're used to. So the emperor here is saying, I'm experienced. Ten of Wands says, it's, it's labor I'm used to. That's why you're contacting them. 
They can drop a big old coin. They know what's up, right? That's cool. That's cool. What a great friend. Friend, I don't know who they are to you, but they're like, yeah, I've done this before. And you're like, yeah, that's why I'm contacting you. <laughs> so it's interesting. That's very interesting. That's very, and I like that, that, that kind of admission there of nervousness at the end. And that's, again, like I would say, is reasonable nervousness, but still the willingness to push forward. There's the excitement. It's there for you both, but mostly with you. Um, yeah, it's great. The wolf, cunning stealth. Ah, no. There's that little bit of... See, here's the thing. It came out in reverse, so you're not trying to be, like, bad cunning. It's, like, smart cunning, right? The wolf is stealth. Get in there, cunning. You know what you're kind of doing, even if you don't have everything mapped out. So you're approaching this in a very smart way. Choices and decision in the triangle. So here we have that three of pentacles energy and the constructive effort of that baseline. That's how I am saying it at this time. But yeah, we have the choices to make. I see you making those choices. Not all of them are easy, but they all contribute to the base. And the triangle is a very powerful figure in the spiritual realm as well as in the 3D. So here again, we have that starting structure. It makes perfect sense. Okay, is there anything else in here? I'm not even sure why I brought this one up. This one has some more personal aspects in it, but I feel like just in case. Okay. Okay. Okay, coming out of rejection loss, it's in reverse, fragmented, getting an abort. That's what I said. I remarked on it immediately in your reading. Do you recall that? And I said, you are very much in alignment. So this is anti-fragmentation. It's in the reverse. So rejection and loss, I'm not achieving the goals I want. I'm not achieving the foundation I want. I feel fragmented and dissatisfied. Look at that strong decision you opened up with. Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles, Death, Two of Pentacles, I'm done with this shit. So you got, when you did that, the day you did that, you started to get into alignment, you know? And you've heard me talk about fragmentation before. When somebody's fragmented, it shows. Their thoughts are all over the place, their feelings are all over the place, and thus their actions are all over the place. Okay? All right. But you, not... See, we're having that important conversation, baby. I see it. It's happening. We're going to have that important conversation with that soul bond soulmate, the person who we're... That's like a... Yeah, I know how to do this. <laughs> it's hard work, but... I think we could make something happen from it, yeah? All right, excellent. Anything else here, please? Dark Knight of the Soul, you've put a lot of thought into this, I know. And here's your master symbol here with the Ace of Wands. Uh, new beginnings here. You were very excited. I do believe you're under the guidance of Jupiter. Uh, perhaps Leo is your Jupiter. Uh, but yeah, taking action, showing that particular courage. We're f not new friendship, but it's looking like the alliance. You see what I'm saying? It's just the friendship principle, as we've already discussed. And we are, in this context, chasing, chasing what's important to us. There are good chasing concepts, especially if we freed ourselves up from something that we never wanted to pursue, but it was just in our lives, out of habit or monetary needs or constructs. Now we want to actually chase something that's important to us in terms of foundations and dreams. Well done. Hey, good job for me. Leo, honey, I hope this helped you. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.